Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I am Catherine. Thank you so much for your prayers and well wishes. I'm happy to be back. So let's go ahead and go to work. If you're like me, you have more old furniture than you do cash lying around, like this small curio cabinet. And one question that I constantly get is the use of the metallic spray paints being used on your furniture. I think there's a special way that you should do it, and I am actually going to apply the silver metallic spray paint by Krylon on the small curio cabinet. And I hope that I'll answer your questions while I'm working on this piece. So as you're looking over this old cabinet, consider that you will need some supplies, like this bumper value pack that has all kinds of adhesives inside to protect your surfaces. I also wanted to give the fixture a little bit of height, and I looked at various legs, and they were, yeah, about $8 per leg. But then I went over to the fence section in Lowe's, and this is what I found. I found various styles, and of course, yeah, these are the ones that I chose. Now there are 11 pieces of glass in this unit, and most of the glass is attached using a rubber strip. I'm just pulling them off the sides. But I gotta tell you, you don't want to put that back. I mean, it's going to be a silver piece. So I decided to try these surface bumper protectors as they call them. And that's going to be perfect. They're clear. I'm also replacing all of the hardware, taking away the gold or the bronze and replacing it with a nickel finish. These are very inexpensive and I purchased all of these items at Home Depot. Now with my new look, I wanted to update the hardware. Now this knob is from Hobby Lobby. It's pretty, but this one is from Home Depot. Well, it's pretty too. But then I went to Home Goods and yay, look what I found. Just gorgeous guys and each of these packets just putting them all together to give you a price they range from $7.99 up to $12.99 the 12 being the one that has the six pieces inside of it this is stunning I love it and it's great quality so it is still raining outside and we're going to move our workshop into the garage again. I've examined the doors and there is a problem. The door on the right is warped. It actually curves a little bit and we're going to do a little bit of ironing on the door. I did a little YouTube research and I also checked with a local cabinet maker and they did indeed recommend this. You just place an iron with a damp cloth underneath it onto the corners, heat up the wood, and then put weight on top of it for a couple of days and that will flatten the door. Huh, okay, I gave it a try. And like I said earlier, these posts are used for fences outside. And in some cases, given the style, they could also be used for your stairs inside your home. You'll find them there heavily shellacked or painted, so you really can't tell that's what the builder used. He was saving money. Now to get smoother legs, I used my sander. Now there are two ways that I could apply my legs to the bottom of the curio cabinet. The first way is I could take a drill bit a little bit smaller than the screw and I can use a marker or painter's tape to measure the length of the hole that I'm going to drill in the bottom of the cabinet and then I can just simply screw in the leg. Now my second choice might be a little scary for some of the old schoolers. Just simply remove the screw and add construction adhesive. Try it, you'll be amazed. The Gorilla Construction Adhesive is holding up this mirror which hangs above a fireplace, a working fireplace during the winter months. I used only the Gorilla brand, but there are others out there. To attach the leg, I added a reasonable amount of the adhesive to the bottom of the cabinet and then just shifted it around a little bit using the leg and applied the pressure. Now I'm tapping gently with the mallet to get rid of any air bubbles. Now this is where the magic happened. Cans of paint and a bucket of rocks. Yep, left those there overnight as well. If you're one of those people that just can't have confidence in adhesives, drill a hole and add a screw designed for work. 
Leave enough adhesive sticking out of the top to form a cap. The next time you need it, just pop that little piece off and you're good to go. I decided to do a little test spray painting and I realized I definitely needed to do a base coat. So guys, I went into my arsenal. I had some gray paint in the garage and I decided to paint the entire thing with that gray paint and then apply the spray paint. That looks so good. Looks like the spray paint is going on really, really creamy and smooth. If this were a simple table, maybe a lamp table or something like that, I probably would not consider a base coat. Now all of this is silver dust from the spray painting. Make it a best practice to buff your pieces after your spray painting, especially these metallic pieces. They have a lot of pixie dust that comes from all of that sparkle, but all spray paint does. Now this is my first time using the Dixie Belle Best Dang Wax in dark brown. It also comes in clear. I am in love with this wax. I love how easy it opens and it is also eco-friendly. Guys, it is so soft and creamy. I'm going to put my finger inside just so you'll see. Isn't that amazing? And that makes it easy to apply and quick to dry. I'll be sharing more of the Dixie Belle products with you. Like I said earlier, I say goodbye to brass and bronze and hello to nickel or chrome just to complete my look. And everything turned out perfectly. But remember that problem that I had with the door being out of alignment? Well, I was able to flatten the door and update the hardware as well for the hinges. I thought that was best to just stick to the same thing, considering one of the doors could not be fully realigned. So I'm using washers right here next to the hinges to angle the door so that they look straight. And these little bumpers were all that I needed to secure the glass back inside the doors and along the sides of the cabinet. My new hardware is fabulous and so are the $3 tassels. The metal art above it is from Ross and I need one more. What do you think? It is stunning. Now I was having so much fun staging it that I forgot the painters were coming to paint the ceiling and I had to stop. But I absolutely love how this turned out. What can I say? I think this is the perfect cabinet for my narrow foyer. Now do you see why I think that base coat was so important? This looks like a very finished and polished piece. Now if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. Yep, I'm getting started a little late, but I'm happy to be here, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.